greeting members of the media. Uh, good evening to everybody. <clears throat> yeah, look, I think uh, congratulations to the opposition. Uh, they gave us a very good game. Uh, very intense, very aggressive, uh, and you could see they were fired up. And so congratulations to them and to, to, to the coach. Um, congratulations to, to Widhat, uh, the entire club. Um, we still are very far from our full potential and our full capacity, but of course every win matters because uh, it gives good confidence to the players and uh, um, also gives confidence to, to our supporters. Our, our supporters are amazing. You know, the, the Widhat defense are the best I have ever worked for and um, how they keep singing and, and, and encouraging their team. They deserve so much happiness and we're going to try every single match to, to make them happy. You know, we'll do everything that we can to, to, to bring the glory days back to this incredible football club. Some very, very promising youngsters. Some we didn't get the opportunity to see, uh, like the 16-year-old Benani. Uh, but there's some good uh, kids, Magdawi did well, Omar in goals was very good, comfortable, you know, he's got a bright future. Um, but yeah, of course we have to work a little bit harder on these kids and try to help them to, to learn a new way of playing and sometimes it's, it's, uh, it's, not, it's not easy. Uh, the type of tournaments, they are good for not only uh, for the young players to get exposure and to, to be known by the Widadi fans. Uh, and so they introduce themselves to the family, which is very, very good. And, uh, but also, you know, you have to try to use it to give some form of minutes to some of the senior players, you know, the players like Dariani who haven't played much, and uh, Pushka, who I thought were good, Munir. Mm -hmm. Uh, El Habash is, is, is doing well, you know, he's put a lot of stress because he's, I'm changing his position and I thought he did well today, you know, he, he will adapt to, to that and there's a style of play that I want and uh, so I thought he was good and I thought uh, the tournament gives us a lot of possibilities, not just to introduce the youngsters but also to, to keep the match fitness of some of the, and fast track the introduction and, and integration of some of the senior players. Um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. Um, uh, the love and uh, um, the, the warmth and uh, the sense of the appreciation from the Moroccan people towards me, is, it, it, it brings me very close to tears, I must tell you. And, uh, <laughs> You have to know, coach, it's in Morocco, Morocco, everywhere. If someone gives you a gift, it means that he loves you. It's not just like this. So yeah, That's why I, I, I'm close to tears and I'm humbled by, by uh, I just want to say thank you. Uh, there's nothing you can say when people show you so much love and appreciation. And it's just, uh, but, but I must say, just the general public. Um, Morocco is full of very warm people, um, kind, and, uh, and the love and uh, the appreciation is just uh, is sometimes overwhelming and sometimes I don't think I deserve it uh, because to be honest I haven't done anything for this club yet. Um, my, impression, my impression would be very biased Okay. because uh, immediately when I receive the gift I, I think I fall in love with your football club. I want to say thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Welcome to Thank you. Thank you. Wish you and the football club everything of the best.